Hi, everyone. Welcome to a new series here at Star Telecom. Um, we're going to be introducing the AI features of Genesis Cloud. Today on this introductory uh, video of, about AI, I have uh, our Star Telecom solution consultant team, so myself, uh, Alexander, and Ryan. And for today, what we want to really uh, focus in on and give everyone an introduction on the Genesis Cloud AI features and, and really how Genesis is using AI to transform that customer experience in your contact center. Um, in this video, we're going to be talking about the, uh, the four main features that are powered by AI going forward. Uh, one is routing and engagement. Uh, Ryan will be talking about that. Virtual agents, I'll be speaking to that. Copilot and analytics and forecasting, and, and, and Alexander will take care of that. Um, so keep in mind, all these features are really geared towards improving that efficiency within the contact center, um, trying to personalize the experiences in the various interaction channels that Genesis provides, enhance the agent performance by making tools very accessible to them. Um, and uh, with that, I'll, we'll lead off first with Ryan and introduce and give us a, a nice little overview about routing and engagement. So predictive routing and engagement is really kind of two sides of the same coin where their goal is trying to get your customer to the right person in the most efficient way possible and actually being able to drive uh, a better engagement. So we actually starting with the predictive engagement piece that is going to be providing curated content to your customers to help drive that engagement, to help bring them in and start that conversation. Now, once we've actually been able to start that conversation, that's where the predictive routing comes in. And that's going to route that customer based off of either custom KPIs uh, or uh, based off of which agent has the, for example, the, uh, the lowest average handle time really trying to emphasize on working with the best or the best agent possible. And that best agent can be determined by a number of different factors. And really this is going to help make the contact center be quite a bit more efficient, uh, quite a bit more effective and dealing with that first call resolution and really driving that customer satisfaction. Now, one of the things that we want to keep in mind with this is it is an AI uh, process, but it's not magic. It is going to be data driven. So we have to have that data in the background uh, to decide who are those best agents. We have to have those processes and those workflows to set up, okay, what is going to be that offer we're presenting? How are we going to get that? How are we going to actually turn that into engagement? We have to keep that in mind uh, while we're working with a lot of these AI tools. I'll pass it off to those virtual agents once we've connected. Okay. And thanks for that, Ryan. So the virtual agent in Genesis Cloud is a very exciting new feature that has been developed over the last few years, especially with the emergence of AI in our society. Um, so Genesis Cloud provides voice and chatbots that are AI uh, powered. Um, and these both AI powered um, virtual agents um, are designed to um, handle a lot of the common requests that, that your customers are experiencing, either through offering actual intents directly on screen or, or as a voice prompt, or using natural language processing to help determine what it is that the customer is trying to get at. So for example, maybe they call in, I'm calling today to check on my balance, or I wanna know the order status of the item that I just ordered yesterday. So that kind of complex conversation can now be isolated and determined um, by the AI powered uh, virtual agent to um, learn the intent and provide that self-serve option for that order, order status. Um, it's really designed to help your self-serve scale up, um, eliminate some of the tedious requests that are coming into your agents, one driving then their efficiencies and letting your agents handle more complex con uh, uh, conversations and interactions. Um, so reducing that agent workload. And if at all during this uh, virtual agent interaction, um, 
the customer does request or, or an intent for a, a complex or unrecognized intent um, does pop up in the conversation, uh, Genesis Cloud can seamlessly escalate that conversation to the agent, um, further kind of preserving that customer experience. And, um, and, and furthermore, uh, additional reporting will be provided when those escalations do occur. Um, so you can go into the architect environment and modify and improve the agent experience. Yeah. So next is the co-pilot uh, feature. Um, and that would be Alexander, go ahead. Thanks, Andrew. So naturally, uh, when that call gets escalated to an agent, uh, we have Copilot in the game, right? So Copilot is going to be the single most um, tool that Genesis Cloud offers that will boost uh, both customer and agent experience and will provide a humongous value at both to the company, to the agent, and to the customer ultimately. Uh, so, uh, you know, what co-pilots typically do is they listen in on they listen on to the conversation in real time they analyze the real-time transcript and they will look the knowledge base and just pop up the most relevant articles just based on the inquiries that the customer um had um and, you know and just by doing that you can either just pop up the whole article and highlight the paragraph that's the most um the most probable fit or the most probable answer to the actual inquiry, or you can just simply leverage another uh, layer on top of that and just have the AI just you know, summarize that whole article into one sentence or a couple of sentences, right? So that uh, even new higher agents that are still fairly unfamiliar with all of the processes and procedures in the company don't actually have to manually uh, kind of look through the knowledge base, um, reference, you know, um tens and you know tens and hundreds in some cases uh excel sheets and then docs uh they can just get that ha uh, you know that help right uh, during the call uh so uh, naturally it will decrease average handle time and it will also reduce the necessity of uh, any agent to place the customers on hold uh it will also provide a lot of um, a lot of value also to tenured agents so that whenever there is a new process and procedure uh in place it will work in the background and just kind of kind of post all of those new articles so that they are kept uh, up to date basically on everything that's happening in the company in the background yeah basically uh, it will uh, also improve consistency and customer responses uh, or in the response to customers uh, because everybody is now going to act as a uniformed, as, as one uniformed agent almost. So we're practically also uh, improving the company image as well and brand in a sense, right? Now let's go over to the next item, which is analytics and forecasting, which is happening both uh, before all of this that we just talked and as well as after all of this that we just talked. So uh, forecasting will come before this whole process of even, you know, kind of, kind of looking at uh, the calls that we will receive and Genesis Cloud does, does offer uh, an incredibly good uh, forecasting tool that will leverage over 25 different statistical and mathematical time series forecasting models with an AI that's layered on top of those that will actually evaluate all of these models and then go in and pick up the best one. So just, you know, simply from a statistical and mathematical perspective, that's uh, that's an incredible that's an incredible way to optimize, uh, you know, existing and working legacy uh legacy type uh, machine learning models basically um but what it will do is it will um, get very creative with it and it will pick up uh, sometimes drastically different models for different cues that you have so it's not going to be a one size fits all forecast for you know all the cues that you have it will go in and customize the forecast for each uh, for each queue or each skill even in some cases uh, obviously, it will save you the costs uh, of, uh, you know, staffing and efficiencies because it will, uh, when you get to actually scheduling the agents just based on that forecast, it will it will really optimize the schedules and place the breaks and meals and even any recurring meetings, coachings, etc. at their corresponding place based on the request or required headcount, which is once again based on the forecast. Uh, ultimately. Once you create the forecast and uh, you know you go into operations and the day ends, you also want to pull some analytics on everything that happened during that day and uh, everything that we just talked about today. Um, forecasting obviously included, copilot included, predictive engagement and routing included, uh, and even NLU uh, bots included. You will get uh, a very 
a very powerful um, analytical uh, system built out. That's not going to be necessarily a BI tool per se, but it will provide you access to all of the data that Jansys offers on any and all of these points that we just talked. And you will have the possibility to efficiently uh, inspect your contact center and not only your contact center, but as well as, uh, you know, how well your AI is performing. So when we're talking about co-pilots, what the engagements are, what the successful engagements were, um, you know, do agents find those articles useful or, or not? When it comes to predictive routing and predictive uh, engagement, you will be able to see all of those routes that were taken and all of the actions that were taken by the system in order to get that customer to the, the, the best agent. And obviously when it comes to uh, to AI powered bots, uh, well, basically we'll be able to track, uh, to track all of the metrics uh, relative to that. Um, Right, um, that was basically it. Uh, Eric, back to you. Thank you. All right, thanks, guys. Um, I think we provided good info uh, and overview of these four main AI features. Um, for everyone watching um, part two of this video, we're going to dive deep into these particular features. We're going to do some on screen demos and really talk about what it's like living with these features, uh, what it's like with these features kind of running now in your contact center, the insights, and, and how you're going to use them in your contact center. Um, so we'll look forward to part two of the video. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.